In order to understand loan amortization, we need to review some formulas of the time value of money. We have a single cash flow formula and ordinary annuity formula. With the single cash flow, let's assume we deposit $100 today for three years at an annual interest rate of 10%. What would be the future value at the end of year three? In this example, we have the following variables. We have the present value of $100, the interest rate of 10% per annum, the number of periods is three years, and the future value is the unknown variable. Please note that in all time value of money questions, the interest rate and the number of periods must have the same time unit. This means that if the interest rate is annual, we should express the number of periods in years. If the interest rate is monthly, we should express the number of periods in months, and so on. So, our formula of the future value of a single cash flow will be the future value equals the present value times, open bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close bracket, to the power of the number of periods. Therefore, our future value at the end of three years will be $100 times open bracket, 1 plus 10%, close bracket, to the power of 3, which is equal to $133.10. Our next formula will be the ordinary annuity formula. We have four main characteristics of an ordinary annuity. Firstly, we have equivalent cash flows, which means the same number. Secondly, we receive or pay this cash flow at the end of each period, such as at the end of every year. Thirdly, we receive or pay this cash flow at equal intervals such as every year. Lastly, we receive or pay this cash flow for a certain period of time such as three years. We have a present value of the ordinary annuity and future value of the ordinary annuity. Let's look at an example of the future value of an ordinary annuity. Let's say that you will receive a cash flow of $100 per year for the next three years. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. Let's calculate the future value at the end of year 3. First, let's draw a timeline. So, we have 3 years. We have $100 in year 1, we have $100 in year 2, and $100 in year 3. In this example, we have the following variables. We have a cash flow of $100, the interest rate of 10% per annum, the number of periods is 3 years, and the future value is the unknown variable. Please note that in all time value of money questions, interest rate and the number of periods must have the same time unit. This means if the interest rate is annual, we should express the number of periods in years. The future value formula is cash flow multiplied by open the first bracket, open the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of the number of periods minus 1. Close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate. Therefore, our future value at the end of three years will be $100 multiplied by, open the first bracket, open the second bracket, 1 plus 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of 3 minus 1, close the first bracket, and then all of them divided by 10%, which is equal to $331. Please note that the future value of the ordinary annuity is always at the last cash flow. For example, if my last equivalent cash flow is in three years, the future value will be in year three. Or if my last equivalent cash flow is in year 10, the future value will be in year 10. Lastly, if my last equivalent cash flow is in year 2025, the future value will be at year 2025. Next, let's look at an example of the present value of the ordinary annuity. Let's say you will receive a cash flow of $100 per year for the next three years. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. Now let's calculate the present value at the end of year three. First, let's draw a timeline. We have three years. We have $100 in year one, we have $100 in year two, and we have $100 in year three. In this example, we have the following variables. Cash flow of $100, the interest rate of 10% per annum, the number of periods is three years, and the present value is the unknown variable. Please note that in all time value of money questions, 
interest rate and the number of periods must have the same time unit. This means if the interest rate is annual, we should express the number of periods in years. The present value formula is the cash flow multiplied by open first bracket 1 minus open the second bracket 1 plus the interest rate close the second bracket to the power of a negative number of periods close the first bracket and then all of them divided by the interest rate. Therefore our present value today at time 0 is 100 multiplied by open the first bracket 1 minus open the second bracket 1 plus 10 percent close the second bracket to the power of negative 3 close the first bracket all of them divided by 10 percent which is equal to 248.69 dollars please note that the present value of the ordinary annuity formula is always one period before my first cash flow for example if my first equivalent cash flow is in year 1, the present value will be at year 0. Or, if my first equivalent cash flow is in year 5, the present value will be in year 4. Or lastly, if my first equivalent cash flow is in year 2020, the present value will be at year 2019. Next, this is the present value formula. In this formula, we have four variables. The present value, the equivalent cash flow, interest rate, and the number of periods, with P present value represented by PV, equivalent cash flow represented by C, the interest rate represented by I, and the number of periods represented by N. Consequently, we can arrange this formula to get the equivalent cash flow, or a number of periods. Let's arrange the present value of the ordinary annuity formula to get the equivalent cash flow, C. The equivalent cash flow is equal to the present value times the interest rate divided by, open the first bracket, 1 minus, open the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of a negative number of periods, close the first bracket. Then, let's arrange the present value of the ordinary annuity formula to get a number of periods, n. The number of periods is equal to n, open bracket, 1 minus the present value, times the interest rate divided by the equivalent cash flows, close bracket, all divided by the negative sign, n, open bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close bracket. In summary, in order to understand any loan amortization example, we need to be familiar with the future value of the single cash flow formula, the future value of the ordinary annuity formula, and the present value of the ordinary annuity formulas. Then, we must rearrange the present value of the ordinary annuity formula to get the interest rate and the number of periods.